<laughs> hey, you gotta hit record before you. I've been talking, talking to you guys and you've not been listening. You gotta hit the record button. Okay. That's it. Mr. Kevin, what have we got ourselves into today? Troubles in paradise. We've got a winch on the back. That means we're in the logging operation. Yep. yep. I see some blocks customer, under the track. The customer states it has a minor leak. So I was gone last couple of days, and Mr. Kevin unloaded this with Big Mo, didn't you? Dang straight we did. Apparently it's got a leak under the floorboard, and it. it's so bad that it has no oil in it right now. And we don't even know where it's coming from, so we've got to try to diagnose the problem. Try to get a game plan together. Let me, we're going to pour just some hydraulic oil in it real quick because it's not going to stay in there very long. we got to see exactly what's going on so we can get a game plan where we got to wash it or what's leaking. Just a hose or pump or something. <laughs> hey, you got to hit record before you I've been talking, talking to you guys and you've not <laughs> been listening. you got to hit the record button. So we got our transmission pumps here. I can see some oil leaking out already dripping underneath. So we've got a spray line right down here. It's been spraying from the side. I think we may need a mirror, Kevin, before we fire it up just see where it's dripping at. This does not does not look good at all. Do we get anything Hang like that? Let me, let me see that light bulb. Okay. I'm trying to drop these people in here, but they can't see. They're getting all sick. Okay. We're going to get a mirror, mirror yeah. and see where that dude's dripping under. I know there's a line that goes in under there, but there's also a plate. It's hard telling what's going on with this dude. All right, so we found a leak, didn't we? Yeah. It's not good. Yeah. It's all the way in the bottom of this back pump. There's a round plate under there. And uh, I don't know how it's sealed up because I don't mess with pumps. Do you mess with pumps? No. 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 The bad thing is, it's right over top of this cross member. The only way to get that thing off is take the pumps out. That's not fun. I'll be sick. <laughs> sick. sick. <laughs> oh my. That's probably why it got brought to us, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to go look at the uh, parts book and see, but uh, I don't think that's going to be an easy fix at all. Customer states that he'd like a notification over a thousand dollars on repairs. I can tell you it's going to be quite a bit more than that. Yeah. More than likely something those pumps probably need went through. I don't know. Why do I have the Look they cleaned it all up for us. Yeah why do I have a sneaking feeling they just went till it quit going <laughs> and then said there's something wrong. Oh, it's even got dead batteries. Well I guess I'm gonna look up some stuff and uh, we'll probably be back in a few days with a uh, cluster.
right, got the dozer back in the shop. As you can see, Mr. Randy, he spent like uh, eight hours washing this thing. We got the tracks all cleaned off. Guys got the seat up. Got her quite a bit cleaner in there. You guys remember earlier, she was quite nasty. So, um, one thing I may have liked to done is took the winch off before he washed it, but I didn't have time that day. So, needs a little more washing after we get the winch off. We can do it in here. So, we might possibly be able to get the pumps out without taking that winch off, but it'd be a freaking pain, especially getting it back together. I can probably get it apart, but uh, getting it back together is going to be another thing, trying to get the hoses and stuff flying back up on there. So the time we'd waste fiddling with that, we can go ahead and get this winch off. We'll take the log arch off. Um, probably going to have to take this extra guard off so we can get in there. It's a lot of work when they got a winch on them. Mason's draining the hydraulic oil out of the tank. We're pretty sure that the transmission's drained out, so we're letting it drain down there. And then uh, we'll get that winch off and see what kind of carnage we got. So you guys been watching the videos, you know I went to auction recently too. Picked this thing up and that Komatsu dozer that had that super angle blade on it. But uh, I told you I was going to do another video picking that stuff up. But got busy, didn't get to that. But um, we do have a super sweet giveaway here. We got some Harbor Freight tools. We're going to be using these throughout the year on uh, this kind of stuff here. So if you guys want to enter to win this, there'll be a video linked in the description below. You can go watch that and see how you can win all these sweet super Harbor Freight tools that we've been using. Got any questions or anything, drop them in the comments below how they've been doing. So we've got mostly icon stuff, but there's a video explaining all that stuff later on. So we're gonna get to taking this apart here. Go up a little bit. Okay, back up. Go back over that way so you can get out. Easy, easy. Okay. Let's set it down in front of that blade over there. It right here, tight. Go ahead, bud. Careful, you don't break those bolts. Yeah. It's all you. Take it off, get it out of our way. We gotta get to cable and some other U joint and stuff down through there. Just go straight up, Mason. Go ahead and back up a little. Go down. Okay. All right, we got the uh, shielding off. We got the uh, control cable off. There's a vent hose we'll have to get to. Um, this is a power in and power out winch. Most of them that we install new are just um, uh, power in and free spool out only. So this has a bunch more hydraulic lines and stuff with it. And they're really a pain to get to on these tractors because this winch has to come back a little bit and it's got to lift up and out of that oil pan down there. On the 700 is a lot easier. So. What I usually do is come up here, we'll mark all these lines where they go, cap these from this um, hydraulic lines uh, from this controller here, and uh, we'll have to pull them all the way back out that way. It's usually easier. So what happens, you just can't get enough room to get the lines out. One of them's really a pain in there sometimes they catch you. We'll have to pull it out a little bit, and then we gotta get to some drive shaft bolts down there to uh, get that thing loose. So I'm gonna get these marked and capped and pulled off here. Mason Wild just got yelled at. Mason Watch just yourself. got yelled at by Kevin. Yeah. He had to, he had to nap at impact. 
we're Harbor Freight all the way today. Oh yeah, that's right. Harbor Freight all day. You Kevin, where, where have Freight. you been over doing I body? I don't know. I just showed up. <laughs> I didn't realize we worked so early in the day. Oh, is that right? Yeah. You've been making all that noise in the background over there. All right, I got these marked. I got to get me a right size wrench here. We're going to start unbolting the winch. You know, it's hard to take lines off of one, hose, of one hand. <sighs> I got mine done. Did you get yours done? What have you been doing? Uh, I don't know. Over here. Is he, are you struggling with that new impact? It's all the new tight sockets. sockets. Whoa! Did you hear that? All the thunder. What about these right here? Those two? Nope. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that hitch is, yeah. Hi, friend! You got one of these. Ready? You ready? Now right, we gotta pick the back up first. Let's uh let's go down and tighten this back chain up here, Kevin. Whoa. Okay. Go, go to the paint job back up, Bubby. Oh watch your hands. Go down go down a little bit. All right, tighten her up here, good and tight. What'd you shut it off for? You got it tight? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Houston, we got a problem. These two bolts right here or the drive shaft saver hoop. They're supposed to be on the inside of the tractor pointing back this way, not out here with the kitchen. Did you do that? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm guessing the local John Deere dealer probably did that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I've put enough of these on. I know it doesn't go that way. What's happening, we're picking this up and it's catching on that bolt right there. Somebody was trying to make it hard on ourselves. Mm hmm well, I guess we gotta loosen those bolts up and let that flop around. Is that supposed to be on the inside? There's no way. I don't know what somebody was thinking there. <laughs> All right, we'll get a wrench and get those busted loose. All right, go up a little bit. Back up real easy. You can kind of go the way you're going. I'll watch those hoses. Can you go up a little bit, Kevin? All right, reverse. Yep, pull them out with them. Keep going. Okay, you can cut her over that way if you want. Let's go slow. So we got this greasy monster off. I'll show you guys this piece was on the outside of the tractor. You guys can see it's actually a drive shaft protector hoop and it was not protecting anything, was it? I don't know. Yeah. You guys can see the drive shaft sits way back in there. This thing was bolted on like so. So it was not so if that U-joint broke, it was not doing nothing. This is supposed to go back inside there and protect it that way. Mm. This goes to show your dealer doesn't always know what's going on, huh? Sometimes. Boy, Randy sure missed a spot in there, didn't he? Yeah. So I think Mr. Kevin's going to yank the hitch off and drive shaft off here. And then uh, it's getting close to lunchtime. We might even fire up the little pressure washer and clean some of that up first, huh? All right. Is this what we wanted to do today? Yeah, right? 
Hmm. There's a lot of lines in here. No, I just start popping them loose. Is that how that works? Yeah. Um, you know where to put them right back. Sure. That's why we got this camera. Uh -huh. We probably should take some pictures with our phones like smart people do. Ooh. So, uh, yeah. This is looking like a good time. Mm-hmm. Well, huh? Probably need. I tell you what. You tell me what size wrenches you need. I'll give. Them I thought to that's you. what Mason was gonna do. <laughs> Mason, where's he? Where's he at? Yeah. Um. Are we gonna? This don't look as bad as a 700. I don't think. Are we going to unbolt these high pressure lines off the side of the pump? Probably, I can probably do that here. I might get rid of this electrical stuff and then, you know, last time we did the 700, we took them off air and pulled them out in a big thing. Mm -hmm. I think I can probably get these loose here. What are you thinking? I think that sounds like it. Why am I, this is a hard side. Why am I over here? Huh. Hmm. I think I can get them. We'll just take the lines off here and. Yeah. We're going to leave the hydraulic pump on. We'll just take that uh, bracket off yep. back here. We'll take it off. So you guys don't know, we've got uh, a transmission drive pump here for, I don't know which side. I think this is the left side. This is the right side. And this back is the hydraulic pump for the blade. So I think we'll just take it all out in one stack. The one that's leaking is this one under here. So we'll uh, get some tools and get after it if I set you guys up here on time lapse because it's gonna get real mm -hmm. Well, that was quite fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you get an oil bath in the armpit? A little bit. She's nasty in there. Poor Randy's washing up for a whole day and it's still nasty. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna get the forklift. We got her all loose. And uh, we're gonna try to wrestle that whole assembly out of there. It's gonna be tight, isn't it? We can do it. Down a little bit. Hang on. No. Whoa. Sweet. How much more you got sticking up here? We're all the way to here. Really? Yeah. 
and they turn up at an angle. That sucks. Can he back back up just a little? I think so. I drive in that way, Mason. Oh. back out at an angle, kind of curve it, turn your wheels a little bit, turn your wheels, there you go, now back up, need to go up, don't we, whoa, whoa, go up, is that clear yet, up a little more, alright, back on up, Ain't got much room left. Okay. That's it. Man, you got that clean, didn't you? Like that, just magic. It's that Harbor Freight bug gun, is what it is. It's a Merlin? Merlin. Merlin. So, we gotta take the hydraulic pump off. We pretty much learned that we should have done that first, but that leak is coming from under here somewhere. I was talking to the pump guy, and he says these early housings are bad about cracking. So we're gonna hope that's not the case, but. We're going to yank the hydraulic pump off the back and see what we got. I can finish on this. Don't worry. You're doing a good job. I'm just so glad. There's that thousands we, of people watching right I'm now just cheering so glad for you. We have the Icon wrench here. One thing I have noticed the Icon ratchet wrench is. Are the bee's knees? Grab a Napa three quarter ratchet wrench over here. They look identical. The other ones are sure are not. This is a Carlisle. These are 12 point. They sure look the same, don't they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty much betting that the same place builds a. Uh, Carlisle Napa wrench. Not the other ones. Okay, are we gonna roll her over on its back? Yep. Oh, it's hard to do one handed. I don't want to roll it sliding. Is that a good place? Right there. So our, like it's coming out of here somewhere. Yeah, it was pouring out. Oh, that's a crack right there. She's cracked. Boom. Can our people see that? Right there. She is cracked and blowed up. That's what that pump guy told me. 
He must have knew what he was talking about. They go boom, boom. Boom, boom. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Diagnosis on the pump, guys. Yep. I told him it had to be something catastrophic, but... You hear that turkey goblin? Bob, I just heard a turkey goblin. I don't think I can work anymore. Wild turkeys over there. Are you going turkey hunting with Hunter? He asked. Sure. You know his deer head's done? Like a guy called me like two weeks ago and I uh, forgot to tell him about it. Huh. Well, don't believe we need to go any further here. <laughs> Our work here is done. Um, one more thing I want to do, let's cut that filter open, make sure it's not full of metal. And that will uh, help me. I don't know if you guys can see that any better there. That's a crack. You know, this one's probably going to crack one day. <laughs> That's a real thin right there. Yep. Yeah, see, good thing you got the Hercules light over here. Yeah, I don't. Milwaukee light beats, they need a magnet on there, and they might have it. Everybody asks me about these lights, Where's if I like handle? them. I love these lights, don't we? Where's your handle? That thing's too big and bulky. It's right here. Can you set the mood? Yep. Huh? Which mood do you want? <laughs> you know this light's better. You just won't admit it, Harbor Freight man. <laughs> but anyway, I had a lot of people asking about these Milwaukee lights. I love them. They're good. We've had a lot of little lights, and they seem to disappear. Do we know why? The little tiny lights get left in tractors when the batteries go they dead. They get left in... Whoa, 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 hey, whoa. No pointing fingers here. How many lights have I bought? I've bought like, what, a dozen lights and yeah. they're not here? Yeah. We've not lost these yet. Yeah. I we got really some... won't lose this no, one. No, that one's... You can't lose this one in a door panel. We need to put a magnet underneath that. Kevin just wanted to buy that because it said Harbor Freight Hercules on it. But it's anyway, awesome. let's cut the uh, transmission filter apart and make sure we don't have a bunch of metal in there. Um, so that will tell us if our drive motors and stuff's good. So, mm, boy. and then uh, we'll be back. It's over in the paint booth. We'll have to get it. Do you know what you're doing here? I see no such materials. Mm -mm. Am I allowed to use my own toolkit, or do I have to use Arbor Freight tools? To so, have you guys out? been watching Miss C and C's channel? She put this Indiana flag up here that just blew down today. How long have my flags been up? Uh -oh. Years. Yeah, Before good. YouTube. I'm a failure. No, no. No failures. No. I do not see. Nothing. We're good. Angle. Pumps are clean. Pumps are good. We just need a... Pump. Case. Case. Hey, can I stand on the toolbox? No, he'll just get the lift and you can fix it. Maybe we'll use real screws this time. Oh, what oh. did you use? I used um, for my toolkit nails. <laughs> Way to go, Red Dog. Did Red Dog get you that? Did you use the, <laughs> what's a snap off 5000 too? Yeah. You, you see, the nails are still in there. They didn't Why don't we out. get some like um, pole barn screws that we put the other ones up with? Um, Kevin knows where they're at. Hey, you can turn the Kevin. What's she doing over there? Well, folks, that's going to be a wrap. Probably going to be looking for a new secretary, too, after this. <laughs> I taught her well. We're, uh, we're going to see what our uh, customer wants to do here. Um, I do know they have an updated pump, so we may get a couple new ones from Deer. I'm checking with the rebuild shop and see if they can get the updated cases. I know parts are hard to get right now. Remember last time how long we waited? Oh, yeah. Are we that was get like, rid of this or what are we going to yeah, do? Yeah, no, I need it out of here. But it's got to go through stuff to, um, <laughs> it's got to go through a few levels of command to uh, get okayed. So I got to see what all they want to do. Sure. So, uh, <laughs> good thing is I'd say the drive motors and everything's okay. This front pump's probably okay, but we know what's probably going to happen to it, don't we? Pew! Yeah, I'm sure we don't need to, uh, Go with that. Nobody I gave needs him, to do that again. I gave him a price of replacing both of these and all the lines and stuff in there because nobody wants to go back in there. 
when you got stuff like this right here yeah it's not good so anyway that's going to be another day if you guys want to see this go back together one day hopefully what are they going to do they're going to like. subscribe they're going to like subscribe it they're going to they're, they'll be subscribed already because they're going to win the super sweet toolbox full of tools so yeah, the hercules done all right today didn't it never failed we did have to grab a couple napper wrenches just because of the situation we were in <laughs> we'll look over this way <laughs> but uh all in all everything's working so good so yeah stick around we'll have a video of this thing going back together if you guys want to see that drop that in the comments below mason's up there sealing up lines and stuff because it's got a lot more pressure washing to uh do you know wash pumps or winches and all that stuff so We'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Did you get it? For now. Did you strip any holes out? Yes. I wouldn't expect anything else.